the back spell recently had some balance changes and in this video we're going to look at some three star attacks that we did after the update in order to show you some tips and tricks that you want to try and integrate if you're planning on using the bat spell. We're also going to show you a couple of other techniques that due to shifts in base design to try and prevent the bat spell, you can now get to work and you should be trying to integrate these as best as possible and take advantage of it. So what exactly were the changes? The number of bats per spell has been decreased. This is more so in the lower level levels, so Town Hall 10 players. As a Town Hall 12, you can basically have a decrease of 22 to 21, which is not too bad. The main nerf is the attack delay from 1 second to 1.5. For many of you guys, you can basically change the deployment of your spells, maybe deploy the bats before the freeze if you didn't already, and that can counteract some of that already. But let's get into the attacks for this video. Alrighty guys, getting into the first attack here, we have Clash Lord. Now first of all, what he is going to do is create a little bit of a funnel with the Electro Dragons. There's basically two methods, putting it simply, for using the Bat Spell. You can use it prior to starting your raid as a bit of a kill squad if you will in order to take out some defenses or you can use it as your troops are coming through on the back end to help sweep out them defenses so it all depends on what you're trying to get from the base in terms of right now probably using it on the back end of the base is more beneficial you can tank some defenses with your dragons or your lalo whatever you're attacking with and just protect the bat spells a little bit more because they are harder to use now guys there's no question about that but you can still get both techniques to work so as you can see here clash lord is pressing in heavily with the dragons so he has used an electro dragon very nicely on the left hand side and the heroes on the right hand side to create that funnel for his dragons to come through as he takes out the giga tesla obviously the grand warden's ability is used don't need to tell you how important that is and as the dragons come through you can see that now on the opposite side of the base the bats are going to be used on the multi inferno now it definitely would have been more beneficial there to use the freeze spell after the deployment just to make sure that we didn't lose as many bats however you can still see that they are still working even though we attacked a multi inferno and the wizard tower they crushed the defenses on the left side of the base there and it still works you just have to select your bases more carefully so that's kind of the first tip I think on the next one what we will do is break down parts of the base that you want to dissect but if you do want to bring your dragons in first and use the bat spell to sweep across the side of the base or the back end of the base that is definitely something that can help you out um, and the free spell is definitely something you want to use on Splash. But let's show you an example of if you use the bat spell right at the start of the raid and what exactly you want to look for. So in this one, what you can see is that all of the wizard towers are pushed to the left hand side of the base. And across to the right hand side, we don't really have any. We just have the multi inferno down at the bottom of the base. And that is about it. So we're going to set up the funnel for the dragons via the king and queen on either side now again i know we've deployed the dragons first but it doesn't matter which way you come at the base you can basically do the bat spell beforehand or afterwards it all depends on what you're trying to do with pathing so as the dragons come through i've obviously said wizard towers are going to be attacked first and then we're going to attack on the back end here with the bat spell so notice the deployment where exactly is it like we said the multi inferno is the only splash damage down to the bottom of the base it's at six o'clock so i don't need to even tell you guys the deployment is directly on top of the multi inferno if you take that splash damage down first then you don't have to worry about it so you want to look for parts of the base where you can shred through defenses because the bats they don't do a lot of damage what they do is work in numbers in order to take down defenses and if you can freeze a splash damage defense you definitely want to do so now as they come across to the giga tesla just watch how quickly they start going down but this is where deploying them with the rest of your troops can help 
So the bats are still doing pretty good work there. The Giga Tesla was, yes, able to multi-prong at many of them, but it was also getting tanked by the dragons. So the bat spells did their job in the south of the base, but in essence what you saw was the bats come in with the rage and then the freeze afterwards. And by the time they took out the multi-inferno, then the freeze had done its job. What you want to be taking note of now as well is the pathing of your drag... Uh, of your bat spell, sorry. The dragons, you obviously need to as well. But that's not something you shouldn't have been taking care of before. It's probably now just taking extra care of it. So thinking, if you deploy on a splash damage defense, where will the bats spread from there? Can you control the pathing of the bats? Remember that they are constantly spawning from that one position. So as they move off and take out some defenses, if there's more spawn, they may, might then head in the other direction. So it's really taking into account the different aspects of that. So what are some techniques you can take advantage of with the bat spell? Now looking at this base, you might look at it and again, where does he want to attack from? Thinking about the bat spell, if we were going to use it, the natural place for it is over on the right hand side of the base. There's the eagle artillery there, which is a massive defense to get down if you can, but also we can freeze the two splash damages with one freeze spell and basically deploy the bats right in the middle. They would spread across them splash damage defenses and from there, they could get huge value with not a lot of splash damage defenses to take them out. Obviously on the opposite side of the base we have a numerous multi-infernos, we have the wizard towers spread right across, you basically wouldn't be using the bats from there. But Sumi doesn't use the bats here, he sees a different option and again the base layouts are often in a way now that you can easily use certain techniques. So the dragons are something that is now shifting right up in popular popularity because of the multi infernos and especially if you can take out some air defense so whilst the bats were an option here he actually opts for the queen walk now the reason for that is the air defense are on the like right edge of the base we can easily get to that and also think about the stone slammer it's a fantastic tool now in terms of kind of a mixture between the battle blimp and the wall wrecker it can do amazing damage onto defenses so it can actually take a lot of them out before popping your cc troops but also carve an area of the base and the walls for your queen to come in so we're taking out two air defense the giga tesla which is obviously huge as well getting that down before your dragons and your loons coming through is massive and there comes that stone slammer you can see as soon as it attacks the arch tower it's going to bust all of them walls and create the perth pathing for your heroes to come in lure the cc and we've taken out that entire area that we talked about in terms of the air defense the multi inferno the giga tesla yes you could have came at it with the bat spell but since the air defense were very easy to get to they were on the edge of the base the queen could reach it very easily the queen charge technique worked just as well now we've set up the raid exactly like we would have for the drag bat. We've still got that area where the air defense are down. There's no single infernos because of the meta and the multi infernos. And now the dragons have a very easy job through the base. Now what side do you want to deploy the dragons? It goes without saying you have to think about the sweepers. The dragons are a little bit slower. So they're going to be affected by the sweepers. However, the queen and the king rather miss the queen ability king is going to affect the sweeper pointing to the south or the southwest first so as soon as that goes down we can basically bring the dragons further through in terms of the base you could have brought them in from either angle to be honest but it was definitely more efficient to do that come behind the sweeper that we were going to come to last and it also meant we could try and protect the kill squad because the dragons then merged in with the kill squad very nicely and as you can see on this one you might not have caught the timer but this literally went down to the millisecond and these epic ballers bouncing across to the cannon is what got the three stars so the queen charge into the dragons it's a fantastic technique that you don't want to forget about basically we did exactly the same in that raid that you would have if you used the bat spell so just think about your options in terms of the bases the bat spell has been nerfed it still does work you're probably better off to use it on the 
back end of the base as your troops are coming through. But if you are going to use it as a kill squad, you want to be looking for areas of the base where there aren't a lot of splash. You can get that value in terms of eagle air defense remember they're not going to go for the queen or the cc um but if there are splash damages you can freeze them can you freeze multiple splash damages can you deploy on top of the splash damages and control the pathing of the bat spell because remember they're going to go for the, the defenses can you sweep them in an area where you can avoid the splash damages they're the best tips in terms of using that bat spell and let's get on to the final attack and this is is the Lava Loon. Now the Lava Loon, it's always been top of the meta. It's, it's not something that has necessarily gone away, shall we say, but it's definitely something that think about the bases and what is the best value. So on this one, I'm quite happy with myself. Even, well, even though I didn't attack this base, my plan or my thinking, because prior to Hoon calling this base, I was basically potentially going to have to attack this base and I was thinking a kill squad from the east of the base exactly what Hoon did now what he did is take out the queen the CC the eagle artillery and a multi inferno as well now the multi infernos are tough for the balloons but not for the lava hounds so you want to swarm that multi inferno with the balloons first which is obviously what he did and notice how he reinforces down here to the giga tesla again if you are not taking out the giga tesla with your kill squad you're going to have to have the grand warden and brilliant ability there to get through the giga as it's doing that attack because it does do a lot of damage but also then with with the bomb as well fantastic stuff and then coming across to the back end we do have the wizard towers so you do have to be careful of that but it is a single inferno which is not as bad for lots of loons we've kind of picked apart the base as we needed to and essentially you can't defend everything right so if the bases are trying to put lots of multi infernos you can swing around that um, it really is just trying to think about what strategy you can use that this base can't defend and i really wanted to just show the value that he gained from the right hand side of the base there and then swarming that multi inferno because after that yes there was wizard towers but they were all spread on the outside of the base so we were able to easily bring them off by surgically deploying the loons that wraps it up for this one though guys if you are interested in subscribing hit that subscribe button just to the left of me but until next time peace out